today I'm gonna talk to you about how to bring blood sugar down fast. We live in a fast society and everybody wants to do everything fast. Well, that's not always the best thing and I'll tell you why, but I'll also tell you how to bring it fast. So it's like, I'll tell you how to do it, but I'll tell you the risks associated with it so you decide what to do with it, okay? So, let's get into it. Now, you can bring your blood sugar fast in different ways. If you're a newly diagnosed diabetic, sometimes you get shocked, oh my god, what am I gonna do? I got diabetes, I get that sentence, and then you start watching these YouTube videos, the guys are talking about, don't eat this, don't eat that, you're dead, you're, you're out. Uh, and then you get like, you get into this uh, extreme motivation and you're like, okay, I'm not going to eat anything. I'm going to just eat uh, steak and bacon all day long. Uh, well, that brings your blood sugar down. Is that good for you? Not really. Totally wrong. Totally wrong. So, you should not be living on a saturated fat diet and keep your blood sugar down because that is going to destroy your blood vessels and arteries and you're going to end up having from a, uh, dying from a heart attack or stroke with the very nice blood sugars. There you have it. Now. You can definitely change your diet, but I think I do not recommend like these extreme diets where you cut all the carbs out of your life. That is not maintainable. But definitely, there are a lot of people who are addicted to the sodas. There are a lot of people who are addicted to the bread. There are people addicted to rice, the culturally, whatever it is. If you can start learning about portion control and understand, you know, look at my diabetic diet video. Click on the link. The diabetic diet video makes you understand about a portion control, the moderation, and all that good stuff that you were not doing, were not even thinking about before. Now you start thinking about it and you're going to realize your blood sugar will be dramatically different. By the time you get diabetes, you lose around 70-80% of your insulin production capacity. The cells that produce uh, insulin are gone. So people think that they're going into remission because they're cutting the carbs completely. It's like saying, oh, well, I'm not rich because I'm not spending any money. Well, that's not going to last too long, right? You're going to end up needing stuff. So just like that, you cannot just cut the carbs and say, oh, my diabetes has suddenly disappeared. It did not disappear. It's just you just covered it up. So the moment you start eating carbs, your blood sugar goes up again. So you have to have a long-term plan, and the long-term plan is portion control, keeping your carbohydrates low, sticking with the healthy carbs, and we have a lot of videos about that in this channel. Now, uh, of course, the diet will help you a lot. Uh, the second thing is you have to make sure you use aggressive methods to bring your blood sugar down. Because when your blood sugars are so high, your pancreatic beta cells, which are the insulin producing cells, are struggling to make any insulin. It's like, think like an economical crisis where you know there's money, but nobody wants to spend it. And everybody's scared. You know, your beta cells are like that. When the sugar is so high, your beta cells are like stunned. They don't want to do anything. Not that they cannot do it. They just don't want to do anything. They don't even understand what's going on because blood sugars are so high because your beta cells understand the difference. But if it is always high, the difference is only between 3, 350 to 400, your beta cells are like, what is this? <laughs> they don't get it. So we, we, we call this glucotoxicity. Glucose is toxic to your beta cells. Now, what you do is you go find a good doctor who understands diabetes, not a chiropractor, not a YouTube guy who works at a church and talks about uh, eating carbs. You need to find a doctor who understands diabetes, who understands who is specializing in this. You don't have to see me. I'm not telling you that. You need to find someone who is passionate about diabetes, who went to school for that not just passion. Passion is not enough. You also have to know what you're doing. Now, with that approach, that doctor can formulate a plan to just bring your blood sugar down within a week or two. A lot of my patients, when they come in, they're desperate. They say, whatever I do is not working. Or, hey, I cannot just stop my carbs, like they say, etc., etc. We always find a tailored plan to bring the blood sugar down with a combination of medications. Now, they could first get scared. They're like, oh, this is like a couple of medications at the same time. But I, I tell them, look, we are going to back off, but we have to uh, uh, attack this aggressively at first, get the blood sugar down, and I bet you your beta cells will start working again. And we're going to, of course, moderation in your diet is going to be the key at the same time, but we are going to start pulling those medications back off once your A1C comes to almost normal levels. So we bring people's A1C from 15% down to 5% on a daily basis. So you look at some YouTube videos, they're like, they make it look like this is like a very rare event. No, this happens 20 times in my clinic every day, all day. We bring people's blood sugar down very quickly. 
with the aggressive approach. Now, you don't have to have a lot of medications either. So, just a few medications, strong medications together with a good diet approach, you can bring your blood sugar down. Now, what medications you can take? GLP-1 agonist class, which we talk about, you know, we have another video that talks about the best diabetic medicines. Click below, click on the link, and we have that great video that talks about the best diabetic medications. Uh, but, as I said, you don't have to be on them forever. Uh, also, I have created a diabetic support uh, supplement that actually works in my practice almost as good as any other diabetic drug in the market. And finally, I'm going to launch that in around two months, and I know you guys will love it, but that natural approach also helps save a lot of patients from using other medications. Now, as I said, we are using natural or regular medications to bring the blood sugar down fast, and then we let your body take over and start making insulin again whenever you need. All right, so of course we talked about the diet, we talked about the medications, and of course diet is a very important, I mean exercise is a very important part of it. I know a lot of people will say I don't have time, this and that, but you can create if just 30 minutes of your time, brisk walking, something like that every day. If you can incorporate this to your life, it's not going to only help your diabetes, it's going to help your heart disease, if any, or future heart disease. It's going to help your cholesterol. It's going to have a lot of benefits that you all know of. So incorporating a 30 minutes of exercise to your life, including the dietary modification and moderation in your diet, will help you still injure your life and bring your blood sugar down fast. And when I say fast, I mean like in a couple of weeks. You can bring your blood sugar down in a couple of weeks. If you do this approach, don't hesitate using uh, the, the medications if you need to. But as I said, the moderation in your diet and exercise is your best friends. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. But before that, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Talk to you later.